Hey, what's up guys? The Gang Dragon here. And I welcome you all to my Payday 2 Armory. For today's episode, I'll be covering the Belgium FN57 pistol. And I'll try to calm down my breathing. It's really kind of hard to do, just the way I do it normally. So I'll try to do a little bit like quiet and maybe slowly as possible. But I do have my mic up, move a bit away. So it's really so hard trying to find the right adjustment because sometimes when I get some exciting moments, I could maybe just get some ear rape. It's, it still probably takes some time. But anyways, the 5.7 pistol, of course, is a well, it's a Belgian pistol uh, manufactured by Evren Herstal. It was made in the 90s, more specifically 1993 to 1998, alongside with its uh, PW brethren, the P90. Uh, it was in service in 2000, and it's still been used today, or by 20 plus nations. Uh, it is used by the war in Afghanistan, the Indonesian offensive in Ake, the Mexican drug war, and the Libyan civil war. There, um, of course, the caliber it fires is, of course, is the FN 5.7 by 28 millimeter round, as its name supplies. And it's a uh, well, pretty basic gun, very modern looking weapon for the 90s. So let's actually take a closer look. Now for the stat for the weapon is the magazine of 15, which is actually incorrect. The It does have 10, 20, and 30 rounds if you have extended mags. That's the actual magazine in real life. The 12 ammo is 45, rate of fire of 600 RPM, damage of 120, accuracy of 48, stability of 36, concealment of 29, fret of 9, and a reload time of 2.1 second. So let's actually see, uh, well, let's just talk a bit about the stats before I look into the bad boy. Is well, it doesn't have much ammo for a pistol. Well, that's because it's also a very high rate of fire. If we go for the console-wise, this is the second highest rate of fire for the pistol. Only get behind by the full auto Glock 18. Pretty good consumer for the pistol of, of its size, so let's actually take a closer look. You can definitely see this is no ordinary pistol. This is essentially a pistol that fires from a, a rifle. Almost like an intermediate rifle. So by particular looking at this variant, we have a little, um, of course we have the muzzle which is a little, like a tin treated barrel of some sort. Now as we look over to the right side, um, there's a serial number on the, the Pictini rail when you mount the gadgets. We have our, well, our little selector switch or safety switch, which red stands for fire, and if you put it covered to red, dot, it will be unsafe. You have the little slide release. The magazine release is, of course, right behind the trigger guard next to the pistol, um, part of the pistol grip. And the little, like, dog or coyote, you know, footprint pattern on the pistol grip itself. Um, since they don't have the license, the copyright license of at least having the real life, um, Igma of the Ever her style, um, the best way they can do with it is using the dogs. Or at least some sort of different symbol. The iron sights are really, um, you have a white dot of these night sights, so they are pretty handy to have in the dark. I do have to say though, I do think that the rear sights are already good enough for a night sight. 
or better yet, the front port side is probably a lot better. But it really depends. It says, and of course, it says Octot. Almost sounds like Acute USA, so this is probably a American made 5.7. And we have also more. Well, we can see the barrel, mostly the slide, basically, or the bolt, is said uh, to caliber to 5.7 by 28 millimeter. Also, exact same thing on. I think the I think that's like the word octo is like something in Belgium. And then caliber shoots the round. Pretty basic. It also has a magazine. Uh, okay, not really much of a magazine release switch, which I thought would be ambidextrous, but it's not. Alright, let's uh, look over the attachments that you could put on this weapon. Now bear in mind, it did say AP pistol, which means that this weapon has the capabilities of armor piercing, just like the sniper rifles, except in a more pocket size. Okay, so we got the 10 treated barrel, which honestly, it, it just changed the color to like more black. You can put out any type of suppressors, or any barrel sentience, any boost, any type of gadget, and of course a gadget will be luck on here, so it slides in perfectly. Magazine is extended mags, which carries up to plus four, which is incorrect. This would actually would hold 30 rounds, as opposed to 20. And you can put on, of course, the sight. And that's basically your run of the mill 5.7. Now, of course, a while back, the 5.7 did receive a nerf to its accuracy and stability. And I think the purpose for this one is Overkill doesn't want people to make it treat as a superior sniper rifle with a large rate of fire and a large magazine and a quick reload time. It's meant to be very precise, precision, and also, it's a secondary. Sometimes they shouldn't outperform the primaries, or in, the, or in this case, a pistol shouldn't outclass a sniper rifle. But it's also very specialty, being semi-automatic with 15 rounds. Well, enough talk about with the 5.7. Let's, uh... Shoot some 5.7 rounds. All right, here we are at the firing range, and we have our 5.7 pistol. And you could definitely tell by in my hands, it's a very thick pistol. And you know what does say? I did say these have night sights. They aren't really that useful. Damn shame too, because I actually do like these night sights. They are pretty useful in the dark. But, anyways, let's just load this up and see what it can do. Okay. Going hot. Okay, and I did like a free dot triangle. Well, the pattern is not the, too bad. It does open a little bit to the right, but after all, like most weapons, it has unpredictable recoil. And even though I did the free triangles by single shots, the weapon is not really accurate in the iron sights, so you definitely see the low accuracy on the 5.7. Alright, test two. I'll be firing the weapon without controlling its recoil. And let the weapon do its thing. And bear in mind that the 5.7 has 600 RPM. It can get even crazier with the Gunnut Ace, which I think 
increase the rate of fire? I have no idea. It's been a while since I played Payday 2. But, anywho, let's just shoot the damn thing. Okay, I'll try to do my best to fire my weapon that fast, so I'm just gonna eat this ammo up. Alright, let me see if I can fire it as fast as I can. This is no test. I wanna see how fast I can fire this thing. Okay, that was insane fast. Let's uh, try to repeat it. You could definitely tell that's insanely fast. And it could, of course, you can tell by the recoil. It just goes up. It's just so nuts. So if you don't have any stability skills, this weapon will kick like a mule. It's like a like a pocket FAL, pretty much. Another Belgium-made effing weapon. Okay. Test 3. It will be almost like test 2, except for I'll try to control the damn thing this time. I hope the results are a lot better. Well. Here we go. Yeah, the grouping is not really impressive. It's like I made what? I almost made like some type of... Like a fat dummy. In terms of the shape. With a little antenna at the top. But yeah, that's actually insane with the 5.7. Pretty insane too. Well, gonna show you my fully decked out 5.7. I'll bring it out in a second. Alright, here's my fully decked out 5.7. Of course, I have the flash hider compensator, the um, micro laser, a pistol dot sight, extended mags, and of course, a I think it's an accuracy boost or a consuming boost, I'm not so sure. But uh, anyways, let's uh, test this out. Even uh, with the red dot, it uh, doesn't aim well. It's still pretty handy, pretty controllable. But uh, let's just uh, continue up. Alright, this time I will try to fire this thing as fast as I can, for sure. Oh man, wow, I'm pretty surprised the recoil is manageable. I don't think even one of the bullets hit the brick wall, so that is something. Definitely had some vertical, does bounce a bit from side to side. Alright, let's uh, test this out again. And this time I will grab a little bit more ammo just in case. After all, the. Oh, I actually do need to reload. And after all, the 5.7. With, or the 5.7 round don't aren't very common compared to the 5.56 so you're going to have to use your ammo sparingly all right here we go well uh, not what I was well I was hoping for a better group link could be better but it's definitely an improvement over the base version at least all my shots stays in that area. So with 600 RPM, it's very controllable. I don't know what's gonna happen if this was foot fired. What? Like, do don't the rate of fire increase like a hundred percent, or they don't do that anymore, or it's only got fifty percent? I have no idea. I mean, it's been a long time since I cover up the stats. I mean. The ray of fire did get changed, they did got nerfed, while well, the 5.7 still remained the same. Well, speaking of the 5.7, it's time to give you guys my 
conclusion on it. I'll see you back in the lobby. Overall, the 5.7 pistol is a very unique idea in terms of the concept of being a pistol that have armor piercing capabilities, which makes sense because the real life has that capability as well to penetrate light body armor and to avoid um, collateral damage, but in Payday 2, it has the penetration like a sniper, like a sniper rifle, so it can go through almost the entirety of the object. Whether it be shields, walls, body armor, it does it all. And it's nice that it's like a pocket sized sniper rifle as well. So if you don't want to use a grenade launcher for any other collateral damage, like don't want to accidentally kill a civvy nearby, or you don't want to hurt yourself or hurt your teammates, um, and you want to be very compact, very concealed, the 5.7 is probably the best I, best uh, pistol for that situation. Now you do have to be careful with the um, toll of ammo because the ammo is not the greatest, and also uh, the damage is pretty good. It does have probably the fastest time to kill of all the pistols. But I think the Glock 18 is just a little bit faster and better, thanks to having a much higher rate of fire. But I'm just gonna pick, well, look at the skill, what increases its rate of fire. Okay, so I was right, it was like gun nut ace, so it does increase it, so let me just get this. Of course, so it increased rate of fire by 50%, not 100%. It used to be 100%, but I guess they must have changed it now. So it does get 900 RPM, which is already insane. And I think the regular Glock 18, without it, it's probably... Hold on, I'll just get a rate of fire close by here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. So yeah, it's a 909 RPM. So it's essentially... The 5.7 here with the gun nut ace, it's essentially a... A pretty much a, a semi-auto Glock, pretty much. A fast, it's a semi-auto Glock 18 that fires in single shot. Just more damage, but insane rate of fire. And paired with the damage skills, the 5.7 is definitely a nastiest time to kill. Okay, let me just get um, rid of these skills. So, it's a good alternative. Although there are other few secondaries that just outright completely beats it in terms of the shield department. But if you are looking for a weapon that doesn't do any collateral damage, the 5.7 is definitely for you. And it's pretty fun to pair. It's a, it's a really damn shame I can't pair it with the solo version of the P90 because I would love to pair those two weapons together. And also, this is the only two pistols, alongside with the Peacemaker or the Colt 45, that you cannot pair this up with Akimbo's. They're only exclusively to solo guns, and you can't do well these, which just sucks, but it's understandable why. After all, if you're able to have these dual weld, these things will be pretty broken, and it will actually make dozers cry in tear of uh, getting a nerf of... Well, well, nerf this overkill, baby. Okay, but probably that was a, probably a bad expression of a dozer doing the whole wakey wakey thing. But yeah, uh, um, it's a very solid pistol. Um, definitely one of my favorite weapons to bring for stealth. If I had to deal with that, you know, a certain civvy on a window in a Ukraine job or jewelry store. Just poof, take one shot, and you're good to go. Whoop, thank you for watching, everyone. Until next time, farewell, and have a wonderful day, everyone.